We're here today to talk about the new Bill Hicks DVD. Yes, American, the Bill Hicks story, a film that was produced by a couple of Englishmen, Matt Harlick and Paul Thomas. It was has just been released on DVD June 1st. Why is Bill Hicks important to Houston? Because this is Bill Hicks, first of all, for those who don't know, is a was a terrific, terrific, just a great stand-up comic and a very influential stand-up comic. Bill died of cancer in 1994, 32 years old. But uh, he started doing stand-up when he was 13. But in the 20-plus years that he uh, did stand-up, he just built a large following, particularly in the United Kingdom and to a smaller degree here in the States. But you ask any comic of a certain generation, and they'll tell you just how important and influential Bill was. But what was that influence for? Was it his delivery? Was it his content? It was content, mostly. Bill went from doing excellent, just very funny stand-up comic, but pretty much, you know, premise set-up punchline uh, 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 comedy, to talking about issues that concerned him. War, advertising, legalizing drugs, uh, just a wide variety of issues. And he talked about it with a great deal of passion and truth without fear of offending anybody that might be in the audience. Most of us comics are quite cognizant of offending people. We Usually, for most people, having someone walk out in the middle of a show is a bad thing, but Bill didn't, Bill didn't care. I mean, he cared, but it wasn't going to stop him from telling the truth as he saw it. So it was content. There was a very famous group of you all, the comics, the stand-up comics back here and for a while, the 80s, Yeah, we were, 70s. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, not only uh, uh, Bill, but Sam Kinison mm-hmm. started in Houston. Another very influential comic that, again, died too young. Brett Butler mm-hmm. uh, started in Houston. Jean Garaflo, I don't think she started in Houston, but she did time here. She certainly did. Tishon Shannon, a, head, uh, a writer on uh, Saturday Night Live and a terrific performer. And just a whole raft of uh, 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 comics uh, back in the, uh, and gosh, I can't believe how long ago this was, but the fact of the matter is about 30 years ago, 25, 30 years ago, uh, the Houston comics were probably the most respected comics in the country. Everybody very much admired what the the Houston comics were were doing. It it, it, it was a a terrific group, a funny group, uh, a very skilled group, very influential, uh, influential group, and a great group to hang out with. I have said many times, and I absolutely believe it, believe it, Back in those days, nobody laughed more than I did. <laughs> My friends were, are, so funny. It was a great group. Why was Houston such a hotbed for this? I mean, not only was that going on, but of course in the 70s, KPFT was forming, and, and we know that there was a lot more freedom of speech. We also know that there were a lot of uh, rights activists here in Houston. But what made it such a good place to be a comet? An accident of geography. Back in the early 80s, there weren't that many comedy clubs in the country Mm -hmm. but one opened in houston so that drew people from a lot of different directions and gave just gave the houston you know arguably if akron ohio had had a comedy club back then it would have uh, attracted a lot of men and women that wanted to do comedy and it would have been a uh, hotbed of creativity but as it happened the club was in houston and as it happened there was just a uh, remarkable collection of creative talent comedic creative talent in Houston at the time. So it was a matter of timing and geography, dumb luck. Hmm. And, of course, you're still involved in the stand-up comedy right now yourself. Yes, ma'am. I. Uh, How is it here in Houston now? It's, you know, back in the 80s, again, gosh, I sound like such an old man, but you know what? <laughs> I'm an old man. Deal back with then, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I take a nap and then nope. we continue the nope. interview? Nope. Um, back in the 80s, there were probably a um, easy half a dozen clubs in Houston. Laugh Stop, Laugh Spot, Comedy Workshop, spell, couple of Spellbinders, uh, Comedy Showcase, uh, what was Marty's? Uh, Good Humor Bar. Now we're down to uh, the Laugh Spot, Improv, um, and the Showcase. A lot of smattering of uh, one-nighters available, a couple of open mic nights that you can participate in, but it's, it's, uh, it's not as good as it used to be in that regard. Yeah. Not as many places to perform. Well, did y'all get Reaganized? Did y'all get sanitized? Or um, are, is there more censorship now? No, less. I mean, mm-hmm. there was never, back in the 80s, there wasn't much censor- censorship. I mean, censorship being club owners telling you, don't do this kind of material, don't right. use this kind of language. 
You occasionally ran into that, but not that often back then and not at all now. All right, tell us a little bit more about this movie. It's a an account of his life, and they I don't know exactly the technical, um, descri- how you would describe it, but what they've done is they, they took like still photographs and kind of incorporated it in and made it moving figures. It's a form of animation. Nice. It's very creative and very interesting. And they just uh, talk about Bill's life in comedy, mm-hmm. his uh, personal life. Uh, uh, they don't delve in too deeply, but his life in comedy starting when, like I said, he was about 13, 14 years old when he started doing stand-up wow. here, here in Houston. And uh, so that's it. It's very there's a handful of uh, talking heads, as they say, uh, of which I'm one. James Ladmoreau, known as Jimmy Pineapple back in the day. Uh, uh, Steve Epstein, John Pernetti. So there's it's um, it's very interesting, very entertaining. There are clips from his act, clips from other people's acts briefly. So it's 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 very entertaining. Well, excellent. Andy Huggins, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. You're very welcome, Marla. My pleasure. Say the name of the movie one more time. American, The Bill Hicks Story. Thank you, Andy Huggins.